You have the gratitude of Sendrez, my new, if there was time, but there isn't. Father's given you the key then. Excellent. I'll make a mark on your map. You should find a cave there that leads to the path up the slope. There should be two ward stones at the entrance, each attuned to a constellation. The Atronach and the Tower, if I recall. The key should allow you to disrupt those stones and any others you encounter on your journey. Three guide... My scales are dry with disappointment. You are correct. The Dark Elves of Kragenmore do not swim in the River of Humor. I came here to delve into a nearby tomb, but the soldiers prevent my entry. I heard a whisper of a sacred Dark Elf performance. Those who performed it splashed in the River of Humor, and the Dark Elves laughed. If you tread the dust of the tomb, will you seek the right for me? Don't eat any cooked trope, Rukil. Just tell me everything you hear about the sacred performance, and ignore anything you hear about a secret society or a death sentence. Rumors say the performance required precision. Performing it incorrectly was punishable by death. A mysterious order protected the right, murdering anyone who performed it without care. Of course, I'm sure those are just rumors.
Before the three, as is my right and my duty, I greet you as the eldest of the brothers Randoro. No one has asked about the sacred performance in a long while, Noir. You dare brave the wrath of the Mirthless Order? Would you risk death to learn my secret knowledge? Very well, the first part of the performance goes like this. One day, in full view of the Noir, the Mera of Koal Canton, and so he crushed some muck sponge pulp into a netch's tentacles. There, I oh, my sacred oath. That is the only portion of the performance I am allowed to impart. Seek more knowledge in the Mora, where the bitter green grows thick among the balm. Performance of the sacred rite requires exact preparation. True humor must be taken seriously, so an improper performance demands death. Those who fail find themselves face down in the Hakalo. Well, have a snifter of grief then, would Sarah Swit. Just know that Cragonmore is the ancient home of the Mirthless Order. If your friend performs the rite improperly, he will be slain. no weakness or fault. I greet you as one of the performing brothers, Randoro. If you wish to brave the Mirthless Order, that is your choice. Here's the second part of the performance. In response, the Morog of Koal Canton released their Kwama. Bled all across the Anmor and poured their shame upon the ground.
mirthless order will track you, no doubt, but that is your choice. The third part of the performance goes like this. Only when the Mera was burned in a Sujama Molag. The Mare was put to the Dagon. The Mora was safe to travel again. There, it is concluded. You bring moisture. What have you learned? Quickly, tell me of the sacred performance. Moisten my scales. You are dulling my teeth. Please, does this go somewhere? I do not understand these words, but their performance is said to have made dark elves writhe on the ground with laughter. Perhaps this will finally immerse me in the river of humor. Here we go. Everyone attend. I erect the spine of amusement. This performance is an ancient one. Attend. <clears throat> one day, in full view of the Nuwa, the Mera of Coal Canton crushed some buck sponge pulp into Anetch's tentacles. In response, the Morag of Coal Canton released their Kwama across the Anmor and poured their shame upon the ground. Only after the Mera was burned in a Sujama Molag and put to the Dagon was the Mora safe to travel again. Zeus, that made little sense. Argonian, in the sacred name of the Mirthless, die! Oh, that's terrible!
the hero of Davon's Watch. What I wouldn't have given to see Polreth destroy. I bring an urgent message from Rhea Opacarius, Chief Oracle of the Twilight Queen Azura. Best discuss that with Rhea. Too many eyes and ears here. She awaits you in the Cloudy Dregs Inn in Wayrest. They're all here? <laughs> Thanks. Not everyone would stop to help a simple farmer. I'll praise your name to every Gua herder in Stonefalls.
Is it done? Is Captain Dunveril defeated? It is well. You've proven the strength of my great house, and you brought my son home safely. I now name you the Hand of Drez, and offer you my aid, should you need it in the future. To their friends, the Drez are generous.
I'm sorry. I don't believe I know you. Our wise woman sent you? By Azora. You couldn't have come at a better time. Let me see what you have. I'll take the herbs to cure at Brethis. As for you, there are many injured soldiers here. Take the drafts and use them on the dying. Meet me in the main temple complex. It's up the stairs to the southwest. I'll be speaking with Curate Brethis. Brethis is supposed to... Another stranger in my temple? You must be the Ashlander's chosen emissary. Though violence still threatens our sanctuary, I am grateful. I know Hedrana, and I know we both desire peace. What can we do to gather it in our arms? There's a long history of bad blood between the Ashlanders and our order. Hedrana and I can't impose peace on our followers, however we might feel. If we could stem the tide of violence, even for a moment, who would respond? The Pact holds the Covenant at bay. The only troops they've sent are their wounded and dying. You've helped the grievously injured, but wounded soldiers can't protect us. There is still a source of power left to us. The Tribunal. Perhaps the three will show us a way through these trying times. Go to the Sanctuary on this floor and pray at the Shrine. Perhaps the Tribunal will answer you. Ah, it's you again, the child whose soul was stolen. My lady Amalexia is grateful for the aid you gave disciple Sildras. My lady has many responsibilities to her children. Is Iliath more important than the Covenant invasion? The Molag Ball schemes? Than a mother struggling to give birth in Mournhold? Or a father praying for his sick child's life in Sedanin? Even if they do attack, Everyone here will still die someday. Even you, child. One night, you will close your eyes and never return to Tamriel. The Tribunal does not offer immortality, nor does it shield the Reverend from the trials of life. Ah, now that is a wiser question. Alma Lexia bids me to say this. Go to the chapel below this temple. Take ashes from the urns of Narathran and Faryon. Scatter them in the eternal flames beneath the northern and southern towers. The Ordinators will appear before you. You must earn their respect. Long ago, Narathran and Faryon were guard captains who gave their lives to defend Iliath. Defeat them in combat, and they'll aid in your defense of Iliath. Suppose a Myr asked you for aid against an enemy he could not defeat alone. If you can defeat him in battle, he's weak, and he wants you to solve problems for him. If he can defeat you, he's strong, and his need is genuine.
so much to do. Can't you see I'm busy? Take my ashes. Merciful healing, Mother. What is that dreadful noise? Truly, the three have touched this temple. The spirits of past ordinators now guard our walls. Peace at last. Now, if only... Wait, who is that? Kill it! Kill it! So much... Ashlanders have tunneled under the walls! We're all doomed. Harmon, the Ashlanders are inside the temple. They've broken through an old storage tunnel under the hillside. We'll all be killed! They got in behind the temple building to the southwest. Ordinator Nethys has taken command of its defenses. Even with the spirits and healed soldiers, I fear we'll be overrun. This is a fight for us. Please, there's another way. It doesn't have to end like this. Not with another slaughter. Not with more blood between us. They attack because they don't know Hedrana disapproves. I'd hope to avoid this, but there's no choice. I would like to give you a... an artifact. 
Hedrana gave it to me as a last resort. I don't know. The wise woman spoke into it. When you activate it, her image appears and repeats what she said. If you use it near Zidak's Ashlanders, they should let you pass. Our Ashkan acts against the wishes of our wise woman. If his duplicity was known to our people, they'd never trust him again. It would destroy him. He does what he thinks is best for us. It's difficult to explain to outsiders. The Ashkan is the father of our tribe. Would you want to learn that your father is a liar? That he puts his desire for revenge above your family's safety? I admire your strength. If I couldn't trust my father's wisdom, I'd feel lost. Where would I turn for counsel? I'm sorry, this isn't your concern. She didn't say. I've seen similar devices in collections of dwarven relics. I don't know why the wise woman would have such a thing. The dwarves were sinful people who wallowed in selfish curiosity. Our Ashkan acts against the wishes of our wise woman. If his duplicity was known to our people, they'd never trust him again. It would destroy him. He does what he thinks is best for us. You're not part of my expedition. Interesting. We're searching these caverns for a sacred shrine that's been lost for ages. Our problem is that dreg and goblins are over... Stick the chieftain's head on a spike Some Goblins are pathetic beasts. But they have their...
careful, Traveler. A troop of Covenant soldiers happened upon the keep. They attacked, thinking we were a military outpost. We tried to fend them off, but they fought past our defenses and managed to enter the vault. They smashed a relic and unleashed the curse. We've made a potion to help the afflicted, but we've run out, and we need components to make more. Gather spectral essences by slaying cursed spirits, and collect tainted hearts from the dead. Then take them south to Marari. I must attend to the afflicted here. My wife Marari could use your assistance. Disrupt- That's the irony. We are researchers, scholars in pursuit of knowledge. We used our spellcasting might to hold our own against the daggers. But if they had not released the curse, Odds are, we would all be dead. House Telvani hasn't joined the Ebonheart Pact. Oh. No, not Covenant. Welcome to Lukiel. Oh, yes. It's the most... How good of you to ask.
Who in oblivion are you? This place... Ah, good. Sothasil has smiled on us, finally. All we needed was another pair of hands. Take those components and mix them in this Daedric urn. They'll coalesce into a potent etheric totem. That will be much better than the potion we were using. Ah, the etheric totem. Excellent. Now we can do... The last few people in the keep are still cowering in their quarters. Ardras, Romali, Neron, and Hadril. Some of my assistants are working to hold back the curse, but I don't know how much longer they'll hold out. It should disrupt the etheric energies of the curse. Use it on our fearful residents to shield them from the spirits. And if any of the cursed spirits rise up against you, you can use the totem to drive them back. Actually, there's one more thing. One of the daggers managed to run for safety when the curse hit. I think she's hidden up in the Keep's tower. I hate to say it, but you should probably go see if she's all right. Such courage. Keep in mind these people are terrified. Talk to them or use the totem. It's a dark legacy from the... Their brave souls. The reliquary is an ancient... A clever question. It's a dark legacy. Their brave souls.